Gusto mo bang maging drug dealer? Drug pusher. Drug lord. So hello, hello! Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, I am Noreen Gonda, your favorite pharmacist here in YouTube. And good to be back. If you're a senior high school student thinking, ano ba yung right course for me? Or you are a pharmacy student already, pero medyo naliligaw ka ng landas, and you keep asking yourself, tama ba tong pinasok ko? Should I really be in the pharmacy school? So this video is for you. Now, we will break down the following. So we will ask, what is a pharmacist? What is a registered pharmacist here in the Philippines? What is the timeline? So how to become a registered pharmacist here in the Philippines? And what are the skills that you need to have or to hone to be a competent pharmacist? And number four is, what are the opportunities in this field ba? Yayaman ba ako dito? So according kay Google, a pharmacist is a healthcare provider and a medication expert. Oh, di ba? Malapit na rin siya sa drug lord. Pero if medyo lalalima natin, according to RA 10918 or the pharmacy law, there are two category of functions ng isang registered pharmacist. Meron tayong tinatawag na exclusive and non-exclusive functions. So pag sinabi exclusive function, meaning only the registered pharmacist should be able to do and function the following. So hindi pwede ibang other professional dapat registered pharmacist lang. So babasahin ko na lang, medyo mahaba kasi. So una, mag-prepare, compound, or manufacture, preserve, store, distribute, procure, sell, or dispense, or both any pharmaceutical product or its raw materials. So anything na may kinalaman sa gamot, registered pharmacist ang dapat nag-assign doon. So sa pag-prepare, kung paano mo siya i-dispense, pero kapag kailangan na i-compound o yung kinocustomize yung sa mixing, reconstitution, yung pinapaper tabs mo, only the pharmacist can do that. May mga certain computation kasi doon, uh, depending kung ano yung instruction ng doctor, tapos yung compatibility of the ingredient. Number two is mag-render ng service such as clinical pharmacy services, drug information services, regulatory services, pharmaceutical marketing, medication management, or whenever the expertise and technical knowledge of a pharmacist is required. So, ibig sabihin, kapag sa mga hospitals, kapag may mga kinalangan ng gamot, uh, dapat may approval of a registered pharmacist for compatibility, depending naman sa workflow ng isang hospital, pero usually ganon, kapag magtatanong ka, pag mag-phone in ka sa Mercury, for example, kunyari, sa branch ko, ako sasagot doon. Tapos, hello po. Tapos, pag nagtanong ka na about the medicines mo, a registered pharmacist should be able to answer those questions. And, of course, reg regulatory services. So, kapag nag-apply ang isang company ng ng gamot dito sa Philippines, kapag mag-apply ng license to operate, yung mga retailers, kailangan may registered pharmacist na naka-assign doon. Number four is to, of course, mag-supervise ng practice of sub-professionals in the dispensing of a pharmaceutical product. So, yung mga pharmacy assistant natin, dapat may supervisor sila ng mga pharmacists o yung mga pharmacy technicians, ganyan, meron silang supervisor na registered pharmacist. Tapos, engage in teaching scientific, technical, or professional pharmacy courses. So, of course, if you're teaching pharmacy, you should be a professional in the field, hindi ba? So, you should be a registered pharmacist, ideally. And number five is to provide other services where pharmaceutical knowledge is required. And meron din naman tayong tinatawag na non-exclusive pharmacist function. So, ito yung mga function na pwedeng mga chemist yung gamawa, yung ibang other professional. So, number one is mag-conduct ng chemical, biological, microbiological analysis and assay of pharmaceutical products, food and dietary supplements, health supplements, cosmetics, etc. So, in our field, kasama talaga yung cosmetics. And, uh, ayun, kapag kailangan mong i-test yung mga product, kapag nasa market na sila for quality assurance and quality control, a pharmacist can do that. Kasi meron tayong subject na ganun and we are trained to, to do laboratory works din naman. Number two is to perform physical chemical analysis of medical devices used in aid of administration of pharmaceutical product. So, meron tayong tinatawag na health technology assessment, HTA. So, pharmacists are usually in, in that field kapag may involve ng mga medical device. Number three is pag-administer ng adult vaccine. So, um, meron uh, mandated na tayo or allowed na tayo to administer adult vaccines, so adult lang, uh, given na may certification. Pero of course, hindi lang naman pharmacists ang pwede gumawa nun, pwede rin mga nurses. Number four is to conduct a, or undertake scientific research in all aspects involving pharmaceutical products. So, kapag mayroon drug development and formulation, merong pharmacist na naan doon. 
So of course, we follow mga good manufacturing, distribution, dispensing practices, GXP na tinatawa. Ano daw, ate, nagtanong lang naman ako if para sa akin yung pharmacy, bakit mo ko binigyan ng lecture about the function of a pharmacy? So first and foremost, gusto ko kasi establish first what is the importance of the pharmacy profession, nung pharmacy field natin. And if those functions makes you excited, so oh, parang nai-imagine ko yung sarili ko to, to do those functions, Ibig sabihin, may spark kayo ng pharmacy. Maybe that's a yes already. Maybe this field is really for you, hindi ba? So, for the timeline, paano ba maging registered pharmacist? Of course, kailangan mag-elementary, mag-high school, junior high school, and then we go, we start with the senior high school. Most of the universities kasi ngayon are requiring na dapat nasa STEM strand ka before ka pumasok sa allied health profession. Kasi, of course, may mga subjects na hindi, na hindi na tinuturo, especially yung mga general chemistry o yung mga general subjects na should be taught in senior high school STEM. Number two is you have to take four to five years of BS Pharmacy in a pharmacy school. Depending in sa curriculum, uh, sa UP kasi meron mer tinatawag na industrial pharmacy, so that's five years. Uh, they are focused more on manufacturing and regulatory compared sa BS Pharmacy na curriculum na medyo general. But again, dito sa University of Mahati, as I introduce you, ladderized kami. So yung BS Pharmacy, nag-graduate ako ng associate and pharma as pharmacy technician in my second year. Sa third year ko, graduate ako ng bachelor of pharmaceutical marketing. Marketing. And sa number four, or sa fourth year ko, doon ako graduate ng BS Pharmacy. Number three is you have to take the pharmacy board exam. So, meron tayong licensure. Ang kirap nga te, di ba? And you can see my journey in, in this uh, videos. Number four is you have to do your oath-taking of the pharmacy profession. Kailangan mo rin kunin yung PRC ID mo o yung Lupon or Certificate of Registration. So, that is the only time that you can uh, extend your name without RPA or call yourself as a registered pharmacist here in the Philippines. So, approximately, that's about five to six years starting from senior high school. Depending, of course, kapag irregular ka, edi mas matagal. And next is what are the set of skills or set of knowledge maybe that I have to know ba at narin before ako pumasok ng pharmacy school or ano yung dapat kong paghirapan hindi ba? So, first and foremost, everything can be learned. Kailangan lang may hard work ka, may tsaga ka, and patience on yourself that it is always a work in progress, hindi ba? Ang matitip ko lang is yung mga skills na to dapat i-hold mo na siya unti-unti. Marami nagtatanong sa akin, ate, kailangan mo bang magaling ka sa math? Magaling ka ba dapat sa chemistry when you uh, enter pharmacy school? My answer is both yes or no. It is expected na may interest ka sa fields na yon, sa math and chemistry specifically. Uh, dapat also may interest ka in taking care of patients, hindi ba? Meron kang empathy, may compassion ka. Uh, that's one of the things na kailangan mong uh, i-evaluate. May interest ka ba talaga? Do you have that passion in you? Number two would be communication. When you're dealing with patient, when you're dealing with customer, kailangan magaling ka magpaliwanag because pharmacists are like the drug information expert. Up, bang masabihin sa akin, ate, introvert ako, paano yun? I know a lot of people na introvert din yung classification nila sa sarili nila, but they still proliferate in the field of pharmacy. Kasi nga, uh, lahat naman natututunan. And wala ka ng choice kapag nandun ka na. Also, siguro kapag sanay ka na sa paguran, no? Na mararanasan mo sa pharmacy school na nakatayo na about 3 hours to 4 hours sa laboratory ba? Bawal mo po kasi naka-lab gown ka, ganyan. Dapat precise ka rin sa, mga ka sa kamay mo because you will be dealing with with powders kapag nag-compound ka. So, dapat uh, hindi ka masyado nanginginig. So, pag nag i ka rin sa agar o kaya kapag nagtatay-treat ka, ganon. Patience is the key lang talaga. Everything is learnable. Lastly, what are the opportunities of a registered pharmacist here in the Philippines? Actually, madami. Again, pag PS Pharmacy, lahat pinag-aaralan mo, which has an advantage and a disadvantage also. Kasi lahat ng field ng pharmacy pinag-aaralan mo, parang wala kang expertise, so parang hindi malalim yung pagkakaalam mo sa mga bagay-bagay. Pero maraming opportunities sa field ng pharmacy. Number one is, of course, kung nasaan ako ngayon, community pharmacy setting. Pwede rin sa hospital, industry, regulatory, pharmacovigilance, manufacturing of course, research, academe especially, and meron din tayong mga tinatawag na unconventional field of pharmacy. Pwede ka rin pumasok mostly in pharmaceutical marketing in a sense na pwede ka mag med -direct. Kung tatanungin mo ko, mataas ba ang sahod sa pharmacy profession, I will not be a lawyer. Hindi masyado. <laughs> 
Pero, depende again kung saan field ka. Merong magsasabi sa'yo na mataas agad sa starting, ganyan. Pero kapag sa community, hindi masyado ha. Huwag masyado mag-expect. Pero kapag nasa mga institutions ka, or especially kapag siguro US-based, ganyan. Again, nasa pagsisikap lang yan and finding the right company for you. Ang dami na kayong opportunities sa LinkedIn ngayon. Ang dami na nagme-message sa akin eh. So, uh, ako ngayon, I'm a community pharmacist, but at the same time, nag-tutor din ako on the side. Tapos, kumukuha din ako ng, ng ibang freelance in in terms of uh, sharing my knowledge in the field of pharmacy. Uh, yan, sa mga LinkedIn, marami nagme-message dyan. Also pala, pwede kang dumerecho sa grad school. So, pwede kang mag-masteral just like me. I am currently taking masters in health informatics or medical informatics. Pwede ka rin pumunta sa med school. So, singit ka lang. I highly think that pharmacy profession is one of the best pre-med course. Why? Kasi pharmacy or medicine is the tool of doctors. Isa ang pharmacy profession sa field na meron ka talagang direct interaction with the patient in terms of dispensing the medicine but at the same time counseling them. So, I hope nakatulong tong video na ito in helping you uh, decide on yourself pharmacy profession ba talaga yung gusto. And if you find this video helpful, please do comment down below and like this video and share it to your other pharmacy friends or senior high school friends that are thinking about pharmacy school. So, again, I am Noreen Ganda and thank you for watching. Bye-bye!